The Mexican Air Force has released a video that some of you are going to find difficult to believe. A journalist says it shows images of UFOs tracking a Mexican military plane. The Mexican Defense Secretary says images like these have never been released to the public by the armed forces of any country. And they're saying scientists can look at them and try to figure out what they think, if they're really, really UFOs. What's up, beautiful people? This is Jonas here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh man, you guys, today I am really excited to be bringing you the first episode of what will be an ongoing series on this channel, which I'm simply calling the best UFO sightings on video. I'm starting this series because not only is this a fascinating topic, a fascinating look into the mysteries of existence, but also because I feel that we have reached a tipping point with this UFO phenomenon. I think big changes are coming our way soon. I think that this is going to explode into the foreground of our collective consciousness and ultimately change life on Earth as we know it. I think that the day is coming soon where our leaders and world governments are going to have no choice but to formally acknowledge that there is concrete scientific evidence, proof of a UFO presence in our skies. This process, this disclosure movement has already started with the US government just recently admitting that the Department of Defense had a secret program researching UFOs, which was led by this guy, Luis Elizondo. My personal belief is that uh, there is very compelling evidence that we, uh, we may not be alone. Humanity is opening its collective mind to a bigger picture of what it means to be alive in this universe. Not only do these UFO sightings challenge our fundamental assumptions about the laws of physics and science and nature, not only do they reveal how little we know about this mystery of life, beyond that, this disclosure process will fundamentally affect every aspect of our social, cultural, political, spiritual, economic, scientific life on Earth. We've reached a point where this UFO phenomenon is directly related to our evolution as a species. In my perspective, a great awakening is dawning for humanity, and that is what this channel is all about. But I digress. I'm starting this series off real strong <laughs> with what I think is one of the single most incredible and historic pieces of UFO footage that is out there. The reason that I say this is historic is because, to my knowledge, this is the first time that a world government, in this case it was the Mexican Department of Defense, released classified UFO footage to the public in this way. And this is really significant because first of all, this is making a statement to other countries around the world. And second of all, I think it's obvious that a global power like the Mexican government would never have risked making a complete fool of themselves on an international stage if there wasn't something genuinely significant and mysterious about this incident. So let me give you a little bit more background on what you're seeing here. This incident occurred in March of 2004 over the coastal region of Campeche, Mexico. This was the Mexican Air Force doing a routine anti-drug trafficking surveillance flight over this region when it encountered around 11 of these objects flying in formation that were detected by advanced radar and infrared systems. This video that you're seeing here is infrared, which means that none of these objects were visible to the naked eye. Even though these objects seem to be glowing brilliantly in the video, these were completely invisible. And that is really interesting. Because if these are not visible to the naked eye, then what the hell are these objects? Skeptics claim that these were flares or lights from oil rigs below, but the whole point of flares is to be highly visible. Because these are invisible to the naked eye, that also rules out other mundane explanations like balloons or any kind of weather phenomena. And I mean, come on, do, does this look like flares or weather phenomena or balloons to you? This is a moving formation of objects. Notice how they maintain their formation as the camera is moving. And again, if these were simply flares or some kind of mundane explanation, the Air Force would have figured that out. Nothing strange here, and this footage never would have been released to journalists and the scientific community in this way. Although my Spanish is a work in progress, <laughs> I tried as best I could to translate some of what was being said here, and throughout the video you can hear the pilots very clearly astounded, astonished, at what they are encountering here. Permítame, 
Comandante, ¿qué es eso? ¿Qué distancia más o menos lo tenía este yes? ¿Eh? Oye, te ha... a ver, abusado, eso es como... Ahí van más. Van más, siguen más atrás. Son 10, 11 objetos. Son, como, son muchos objetos. Afirmativo. Ahí van. Va, uno. Uno. Y ahí van los atrás. Siguientes. ¿Qué es eso? Dios mío. Mexican Air Force pilots capturing on videotape what are said to be 11, count them, 11 UFOs, unidentified flying objects. They are officially there. Members of the Mexican Defense Department saying it's the first time UFOs have had the backing of any country's armed forces. Now, a group of activists calling on the United States government to end what it says is an embargo on the truth about extraterrestrial life. With us now from Washington is Stephen Bassett, founder and executive director of the Extraterrestrial Phenomena, uh, Phenomena Political Action Committee. Last time he was here, he was running for Congress, was un unsuccessful in that venture. But I will ask you today, sir, the Mexican government, the Mexican military says, hey, we took these pictures, these are UFOs. Um, what was that, do you know? This is significant for two reasons, um, Shepard. Uh, one, this is released by, by the Defense Ministry of Mexico. This is a message being sent to the United States government that uh, Mexico and many other governments are losing patience with our government's intransigence in ending this embargo. Uh, other messages have been sent by France in uh, 1999 with the Cometa report and by the United Kingdom when they released a substantial number of documents regarding the Bentwaters case in 2000. Many countries know about the extraterrestrial presence, but they deferred to the United States with, uh, with regard to the timing of when disclosure would take place, but they're simply losing patience. Disclosure is at hand. It is very close, and the American people need to prepare themselves very soon for an announcement from our government that there is, in fact, an extraterrestrial presence engaging this planet and the human race. So, yeah, pretty mind-blowing stuff, huh? <laughs> And by the way, it is worth mentioning that this guy, Stephen Bassett, is actually the first UFO and disclosure lobbyist in U.S. Congress. So he's really kind of a trailblazer and a legend in this field and definitely worth checking out. I don't know what to make of this, but I think there's something incredible going on here where the truth really is stranger than fiction. And I'm just fascinated and curious to see how this plays out. But yeah, what do you guys think? <laughs> Please leave a comment below. I am really curious to hear your thoughts on both this footage and on the disclosure movement in general. So thank you for joining me for this first presentation of the best UFO sightings on video. Peace and love to every single one of you out there, and I will see you back here very soon.